tonight pushback against a recent Colorado law that bans so-called abortion pill reversal treatments. Now those treatments aim to keep a woman pregnant after she has taken the first abortion pill. Last year those treatments were banned in Colorado. That triggered a lawsuit from a local clinic and now a nurse is taking legal action as well. Denver 7 reporter and attorney Jessica Crawford reports. Nurse practitioner Chelsea Minnick says she's compelled by her faith to provide abortion pill reversal to women who request it. The conservative Christian legal group representing her has a history of taking Colorado cases to the Supreme Court. A Colorado nurse is joining the fight to provide abortion reversal services after a 2023 law largely banned the practice in the state. I think that Colorado's law right now is trying to deny women the freedom to continue their pregnancy. Chelsea Minnick, a licensed nurse practitioner and certified nurse midwife who runs Castle Rock Women's Health, was permitted by a judge this week to join the case Bella Health and Wellness v. Weiser. In the case, Bella Health and Wellness and now Minnick are challenging Colorado's abortion pill reversal ban. Every person is made fearfully and wonderfully that is kind of our clinics first that we use. There aren't any large controlled studies of the treatment and the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists has said that its safety and efficacy are unsupported by science. Colorado's APR prohibition is unconstitutional because it uh, because it silences medical professionals and and keeps them from saving babies. Conservative legal group Alliance Defending Freedom has a history of representing Colorado plaintiffs in cases that make their way to the Supreme Court, including Masterpiece Cake Shop, where a baker refused to make a cake for a gay couple, and 303 Creative, in which a website designer didn't want to create wedding websites for same-sex couples. Alliance Defending Freedom seems to have a lot of interest in Colorado cases. Why is that? We're here to uh, to make sure that people's freedom of religion, freedom of speech, and uh, freedom to live out their faith is protected. DU Political Science Chair Dr. Josh Wilson says the case demonstrates the political battle raging on after the constitutional right to an abortion was overturned. Christian conservatives have worked very hard and very quickly to develop really robust litigation resources so that they can bring cases exactly like this. So essentially, so they can expand the scope of politics into the courts. In the short term, Minnick's goal is to be permitted to provide abortion reversal services and information as the case goes on. In the long term. So I hope the ultimate result of this case is to ensure that medical professionals are not silenced from offering abortion pill reversal. Currently, the Colorado State Board of Nursing is investigating Minnick for providing the abortion reversal treatment. We reached out to the Colorado Attorney General's office and they tell us that they can't comment on ongoing litigation. In the studio, I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7. Jessica, thank you. And taking a closer look at abortion care cases, the U.S. Supreme Court heard arguments last month challenging the regulation of mefepristone, the drug used in medication abortions. Anti-abortion rights groups say the FDA made the drug easier to access without due diligence. Most of the justices were skeptical of restricting access to the pill. It's the Supreme Court's first abortion case since overturning Roe v. Wade two years ago.